let's talk about the most interesting area that's ohm's law what's that ohm's law george simon ohm establish the relationship between the potential difference and the current which is known as ohm's law the current flowing through a conductor is given by i is equal to n into a into e into vd so the drift velocity vd is equal to e into e by divided by m into tau substituting the value of drift velocity vd in this equation we will be getting i is equal to n into a into e into e e divided by m into tau so we will be getting the equation as i is equal to n a e square divided by m into l into tau into v so that the capital e is equal to v by r where v is the potential difference and the quantity m into l divided by n a e square tau is a constant for a given conductor called electrical resistance so i it's directly proportional to the velocity sorry potential difference v so the current at constant temperature the steady current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference between the two ends of the conductor so i is directly proportional to v or r is equal to v by i or v is equal to i into r this is referred to as ohm's law the resistance of a conductor is defined as the ratio of potential difference across the conductor to the current flowing through it the unit of resistance is ohms the reciprocal of resistance is considered as conductance its unit is mo the inverse of ohm since potential difference v is proportional to the current i the graph between v and i is a straight line for a conductor ohm's law holds good only when a steady current flows through a conductor 